So it's about 50 degrees right now. They said we're going to get a couple inches of snow here in a couple more days. I'd like to say that's typical Arkansas weather, but it's probably like that no matter where you are. I need to do a little work on the pig pen before uh, I get my next batch of pigs in. No better time than the present. Let's get to work. So I need to move this existing hog pen back to your left, I don't know, a couple feet. Let me show you why. The, uh, <laughs> the hogs I had in here have unearthed a, uh, it's actually a landline. Don't use a landline, but uh, I really don't want it to be ripped up and shredded, so. I'm going to move the pig pen back a little bit, that way it's not inside of their pen. I've got a few ideas on uh, a new water tank, or at least a new water storage for the hogs, a new slop feeder. And <clears throat> hmm. An aluminum horseshoe. My lucky day. I'll keep this existing structure that the uh, pigs sleep in. I may relocate it to a different part of the uh, pig pen. Okay. Got ideas on a new slot bucket. Not necessarily a new water water for the pigs, but Thinking about getting one of those big 300 gallon totes and uh, storing water in it. What would happen if I took a bunch of uh, vegetable seeds and threw them out here? Would they flourish? Sassy, 
Are you helping me out? You're doing a great job. Maybe this will give you a little perspective on uh, how much rooting them last set of pigs did. They've dug down a good 18 inches right there. In the future, I think I'm going to limit uh, this pen to a maximum of two pigs. So this entire side of the pig pen has been removed. The uh, fence posts, cattle panels, hog panels, everything I had up here. Didn't take much effort. The pigs actually did most of the work for me. So the plan is to uh, start rebuilding this pig pen. Get it ready for a few more pigs. But until then, I'll catch y'all next time at the Little New Homestead. Good night, everybody.